I right. thought I had a problem. I hit the stream button. And then I hit yeah, the tweet I button. And then I hit the journal post button. And then I hit that way. Damn it, I was about to say that. Come on, player, don't say that. Son of a bitch. Right. You stole my thunder! Thunder! Thundercats! No. Oh! Perfect stream hey, intro. Because, because, because Thundercats whore is a bit too raunchy. Dang. Mm. Mm. It's now live. Oh, beauty. Right. I guess we're going live right now in 3, 2, 1. Nah. Let's jam. Yeah, that's, uh, let's go live then. Hello, everybody. It is me again, Lou, and welcome back to the Palm Rock and Roll stream. The stream with three idiots and maybe some art. I'm joined again by... Mm -hmm. Mike? I refuse to be part of this looping track, looping track, looping track, looping track, looping track, looping track. And by Relicious. Welcome to the stream, boy. I wish I had some waffles with me. Who doesn't? Who doesn't? Those who prefer pancakes, duh. Well, you can like waffles and pancakes, that's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's the play about that? Rolis just, just got Cosgroved. Oh my god. Hey, someone got the reference. Yeah. It's a, it's a freakazoid joke. Oh. Yeah. You know, oh, you can, okay. And, you know you can be married and eat meat. I didn't know that. I never thought about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, because his excuse for not getting married was because I like meat too much. Oh yeah, right. I remember now. Oh my god, I, I'm I miss that show so much. <sighs> yeah, there's a lot of cartoons that I miss. Mm. I, mean, I just showed you that amazing clip from Earthworm Jim, which, uh, you know. Yeah. That was a clip. Oh, yeah, that one, yeah. <laughs> was it at Earthworm. all offensive? Mm-mm. <laughs> not yeah. even a little bit. Back, back, when, back when cartoons did not give a shit at all. Back when cartoons had balls. Indeed. Anyway, how has your weekend been, I guess? Well, I spent better part of an uh, hour and a half crammed in a corner of a hot room with uh, lights and a camera filming our new beater. So equal parts exciting and sweating and, you know, all that other good stuff. Mm-hmm. All I the good stuff. I did see a movie, though, so there's that. Oh. Sweet. What did you want? Uh, I was forced to watch Deadpool 2. Oh. It was, it was, it was quite good. Just, you know. Well, yeah, it just wasn't Deadpool 1. Uh, I think I like them equally. I don't, uh, it's been a while since I saw the original one, but, uh, I would say I don't remember anything that stood out too much that made the other one better. Hmm. Uh, I think it was surprisingly good. The only thing I had a problem with is it's the same thing with every fucking superhero sequel where the powers are uh, now like a problem or a weakness. Think about every single superhero movie and most of them, their sequels, the powers are a problem. Mm -hmm. Iron Man 2, his uh, reactors slowly killing him. Uh, Spider-Man oh, 2, yeah. he's too stressed out and his powers are fading, but he's like, oh, wow, life's so much better now that I'm not having to worry about getting shot all the time. Mm -hmm. And now Deadpool, it's, ah, oh, I can't die. Damn. Yeah, but that was only in the beginning, though. Oh, it like, lingered. Literally the first ten minutes of the movie, where it was like, ah, oh. oh, shit, I, yeah. No, it lingered. It was all the way to the end of the movie where he's like, finally, I get to be with, oh. spoiler. Oh, right, 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 right. It was a constant theme. So, it was the True. least offensive in this movie because, you know, he wasn't moping about it. And when he was moping about it, it was funny. Yeah, yeah, that's that's like a, that's like a very Deadpool thing to do. Naturally. Naturally. I'm gonna run over here and close the door because Naturally. I smell peanut butter and I'm fucking gagging internally. Already? Oh Jesus. Who the fuck is... 
Right. Um. So yeah, that that was a that was a thing, thing. Mm-hmm. A thing. Nothing but a G thing. I was just about to say that. Hey, but, uh, now I saw your thunder. Fuck it. Stop. Ha Look, you can't keep robbing people in in the Palm Rock and Roll stream. All right. I am poor. <laughs> You're not Robin Hood. Of course not, because I'm keeping the money to myself. Fuck the poor. <laughs> That's not a very folks. Robin Hood thing to say. Poor, peep, poor are people, and people are assholes. Well, it's not wrong there, uh, but I, it's still a pretty flawed uh, bit of logic there. True. I have... All logic well, is flawed. According to you, yeah. That, right, that so explains quite a lot. Nothing in the world makes sense. Nothing works the way it's supposed to. So what do I care? Tell you what, I'm going to go get the... Uh... I'll be right back. I'm going to grab one. Sure. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, I, I just... For anyone who's, who cares, I spent a weekend researching how to lubricate uh, GPU fans. Oh. Yeah, so you're, you're out, dying, huh? Um, I wouldn't say it's dying. It's just very, very noisy. Mike, you 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 remember that I was like, well, my it's probably my CPU fan who's this loud. Nope. Turns out it's one of my GPU fans. I'm pretty sure I and told I, you this. What? I'm pretty sure I told you that it was your GPU fan. Yep. Yeah. Pretty much. Because my just was not. My CPU fan is quite quiet, and you got the same exact one. No, I'm, I've got yeah. After I got my my new CPU fan, like that one, that one is, is that one's whisper quiet. Mhm. Mm I can barely make it out even if I try. But as it turns out, there's uh, there's this one GPU fan. It's like and that sounds not okay. It doesn't sound okay at all. So now I'm researching whether or not it's a good idea to lubricate them. And apparently it is. Like, hmm. there's something that miners tend to do. <laughs> Funnily enough. Sorry, I... The first thing that came into my mind was, uh, miners as in I can't order a beer at a bar. They're like, mm -hmm. shit, I gotta get home and order <laughs> and grease my dad's, uh, bearings in his GPU fan. And the barkeep <laughs> just, like, looks over and goes, How old are you? Uh, <clears throat> gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> by, the, by the way, for context, I just ran away to grab, um... Vicks Vapor Rub to put under my nose. I mm -hmm. can't smell peanut butter anymore. Damn, dude. That okay. bad, huh? Well, last time I smelled peanut butter, uh, like that potently, uh, I wound up getting a migraine, and I prefer not to get a mm. migraine on camera. Oh yeah, that would be that would be terrible. Anyway, uh, so yeah, you're gonna you're gonna lube up some uh, metal balls inside of your GPU. I'm hoping to, but I'm I'm not gonna I'm not taking any chances. Like it's uh, if I can't, I mean I, I already try to um, to like see if there's something stuck in there and and there wasn't, and it, it, and I already checked if I can just disassemble the uh, at least the fans easily and everything. You know, it's just mm -hmm. I don't want to screw up my fucking GPU, one of the most expensive parts in this goddamn PC. And yeah, th they that are part a separate is... component. Hmm? They're a separate component. You could take it like right off, as far as I gathered. Yeah, I know, I know. I tried that. I did that. I did that already. They're they're really easy to uh, to take out. I just haven't checked if um, if there's any opening for the uh, for the oil to go into. But I've already uh, apparently they're underneath a sticker. And I'm just gonna try to see if I can remove that sticker safely and everything. It's just you know not, not taking any chances, obviously. And if there's if there's no way of getting in there, I'm just gonna order some replacement fans of Alibaba or something. I'm like, I'm sorry. or AliExpress. Sorry. Yeah, Amazon could say. also have something like that. It's not really good. Yeah, because. I was about to say, you got this magical book that lets you transfer into freaking fairy tales, and you're gonna go see Alibaba for that shit. Hardy har. Hey. But yeah, that's uh, uh, that's a thing I gotta take into consideration now. Right. Eh, don't worry, that's not too bad. Um, 
comically, that's actually how I got uh, my brother's GPU upgraded, because I bought a EVGA card a, while, uh, a long time ago, mm -hmm. and my card's fan was dying, and I was like, Oh, you eh. did that already? This is a long time ago, like four years ago. Sure. No. This is this is when I upgraded my video card because I was like, "Fuck it, here's my excuse to get go from a 560 to whatever." Mm -hmm. Um, so I contacted EVGA and I had a 10 year warranty. So I was like, "Hey, uh, is a fan covered under the warranty?" Because like I don't want to like open this thing up and get you guys like mad at me because I think I got a 10 year warranty. Like, nope, send it send it to us. We're sending you a box. I'm like, okay. So right. I was expecting to get my GPU back, and no, they sent me like a. Um, a 950 or something. Something like equivalent. I, I don't remember what it was. Oh, sweet. It, it was like, when I when I got back in the mail, I'm like, this isn't my GPU. I looked up like, oh, this isn't my GPU at all, and I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, I've heard EVGA was really, really good with their warranty and shit. Yeah, I think they still are. They, they have a uh, pretty good customer mm. service. You just have to kind of really work through the RMA thing. Like, they, they really want you to, like, have everything neat and tidy, as it as it yeah, were, yeah, I guess. Yeah, yeah. But uh, you know, it doesn't doesn't really apply to me because I've got a uh, I've got an Asus, an RT Strix. Um, well, you also bought it used, so it doesn't it doesn't count. I'm just saying, like I I lucked out uh, it's, through uh, fans, yeah, and whatever. I'm pretty sure it's it's I'm pretty sure it's still covered under warranty. It's not that old, and I've still got the uh, I've got the receipt. I got the original packaging and everything. And who did you say you said Asus? Yes. Oh. I'm sorry to hear that. Like, uh, they, they are a great brand, but, like, mm -hmm. if you have to deal with their customer service, just just buy a new one. Just don't. I, I heard, <laughs> I've heard, like, nothing but horrible things. Like, like you could get a laptop from them, and it's going to be a really good laptop. Just mm -hmm. so you know, though, if something goes wrong, you are on your own. They, oh, they wow. are not okay. there. Should have researched it before. Goddamn. I just heard uh, that the RG Strix 1080 was one of the best ones around. No, no look, let me went for that. Let me double down on this again. They make really good things, and their things typically last. But if you do mm -hmm. have to co contact them, that's the problem. Like if you ever do, mm -hmm. I've never had to. Um, mm -hmm. I've been pretty lucky with that. Okay. What's that weird thing I just heard? It sounds like someone laughing. Am I? Hmm. Oh, that was on my end. Um, did you hear that clearly? Like, is it? Is it? It's, it was in the distance. Oh, that's probably just uh, through my headphones. Because you're you're not hearing my um, you're not hearing my music anyway, right? No. Okay. I don't hear any music. Yeah, I just, just my... thought I heard someone go ha ha. I was like, hmm? yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was looking up at the one scene from. Terminator, uh, from Terminator, where he goes, I need you to close your boots and your motorcycle. <laughs> also, your declaration of dependence. <laughs> Just as long as uh, you're not looking up the scene from Terminator where he's taking things from a convenience store and he says, Hey, you can't take that. Talk to the hand. <laughs> that was very disappointing. That was Terminator 2, right? That's Terminator 3. 3? Oh my god. Which is yeah, a decent action I... movie, but not a good movie. Mm, not a good Terminator movie then, I guess. Mm, it was okay. Never seen it. I, I would say think. it's worth a look for fun, but uh, just don't expect the story to be any good. Well, yeah. Because Terminator 1 had a pretty good story, as did 2. Mm -hmm. like, they managed to be both smart and, you know, dumb. Which I'm okay with. Yeah. Yeah, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, oh, right, um, I know this is like one or two streams ago, but I decided to, uh, look into my Newegg account, which I haven't logged into in forever, because I wanted to see which, mm -hmm. uh, graphics card I gave to my friend a long time ago, and it yeah. was like I was on a budget, but I gave him my, uh, GeForce, uh, 9800 GTX Plus, which was a DirectX 10 card, so, like, even though it was, was that's a, that's, that was a while ago, wasn't it? Yeah, but, like, I upgraded his card, like, three or four years ago. Mm -hmm. Um, or longer than that. I, I, it's kind of hard to tell, because you know how things go. Um, sure. but 
I upgraded his card, and apparently, like, like I gave that to him. I just like I'm like you, you don't have enough money for this computer. Like I think he had like four hundred bucks to to make a computer. So mm -hmm. like I I got a refurbished uh, Intel motherboard, you know, which was all like heavily warranted, and mm -hmm. I, I was like it's. I was just frustrated because apparently he was talking behind my back saying, like, I bought a bunch of Chinese knockoff parts. I'm like, yeah, no one's ever heard of the right. GeForce Intel and, uh, or anything. Hmm. What's Great. This, what's this Core i3 you speak of? Seriously. I got him a Core i3 back when they were, like, you know, much more okay. Like, I had a Core 2 Duo at that point, and I was doing mm -hmm. more than fine with everything, so... Yeah, GPUs tend to age pretty well, I guess, especially Intel ones, funnily enough. You mean CPUs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did I say GPUs? You sure did. Yes. Oh, whoops, my bad. No, I was going to say, I, I totally, Intel totally GPUs. <laughs> GP, Intel GPUs oh, are coming. old the moment you got them. They're coming, by the way. Oh, Intel like... Intel GPUs are going to be a thing. Oh, I'm glad there's a new like, competitor on the market, because AMD... Oh, AMD is just sitting there kind of like twiddling their thumbs going... Uh, <laughs> Apparently, AMD is also coming out the gates with uh, with an RX 590, if I'm not mistaken, pretty soon. But, you know, that's all according to leaks and shit, so take that with a grain of salt. I really, really... Sorry, go ahead, Rolly. No pun intended, because it's a leak. Ayo! Want, want. You're not on... You're not on top of your game today. Good lord. I am... That was so uh, late. Medic. <laughs> I am not late. I am... I am... I am a wizard. I am always on time when I am... Fuck, I don't remember this. I'm, I'm, not, the I'm not saying you're late. I'm saying you're... Like, you're, you're not bringing your A game today. You're really yeah, tired. I, I ran out of A's. I got... Sevens. And fives. Hey, Gotcha. I mean, I mean, sure, because Mike is hogging all the aces. Uh, Woohoo! Hey Follow up jokes. I've been working on this one piece all day. I figured that's gonna take five minutes. It took fucking eight hours and it still ended up look like shit. I can't show this to Senpai, they'll hate me. I don't want Senpai to hate me. <laughs> well, stop. Stop. <laughs> Never mind, I'm not, I'm not gonna say a bad joke. Look, as mm. I've mentioned, anyway. you just gotta roll with that kind of thing, like show it to them. If they don't like it, then then you can worry about not liking it. It mm. doesn't matter. Uh, I hate it. It's the client that matters. It doesn't it's matter if not. You... It's not client. It's fan art. It's a different thing. Oh, <sighs> okay. Never mind. All right. Um. Anyway. Right. The, the last thought I want. New competitor. On the block. Yeah. Well, the last thought I wanted to get out was if AMD is coming out with a new card, ATI, whatever you want to call them. Uh, if they are coming mm. out with a new card, then I'm really welcoming it because uh mm -hmm. GeForce needs a good kick in the ass because not only are their cards lower powered than they should be they are really overpriced for what they're asking oh yeah absolutely like they uh the verdict on the rtx 2070 seems to be yeah just get a 1080 instead mm -hmm. and to especially make... since go on sorry go ahead Fine, i'll go um <laughs> to make matters worse, uh, Intel's uh, i9s are apparently very, very <laughs> unimpressive. So it's just mm -hmm. like everyone I've been, everyone I bought from previously, are just like smelling their own farts, just going, I, I don't remember how to make a good thing. Yeah, like I, it's frustrating. I heard that the i9s are not worth the price, and also there's rumors that the uh manufacturing isn't up to snuff so some of them just like aren't great quality oh my god because uh some of these they, guys have been removing desperately... with lids on them mm. oh I... oh okay i thought that they were getting good competition because i heard like ryzen everyone's like ryzen this ryzen that get a ryzen it's like it's better uh value for your money and then like you know, I thought Intel directly released this because of that, because um, one of the videos I saw was like, they were saying, Intel was constantly saying, oh, we can't possibly make a, you know, a nine core GPU for the public. It's just impossible. Then like a month later, they yeah, put one out yeah, because they're like, like, oh shit, we got to put one out. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, it's frustrating as all hell. Like there needs to be some something to shake up the market because right now it's just Intel and uh, Nvidia smelling their own parts, and it's infuriating because they, because they don't they don't offer any any progress whatsoever. Yeah, and the problem is they also make the best stuff for like as far as I'm concerned. Like I know there's like a lot of Intel uh, Intel. I know there's a lot of uh, ATI fans in terms of video cards and like uh, and CPUs and stuff, but like. Mm -hmm. I've really preferred uh, NVIDIA's um, offerings because, you know, they actually provide driver support, and I've never had driver support luck with, uh, you know, ATI. I heard they've, got, they've gotten better, but still, mm -hmm. like, four years ago or something, um, the vice president of uh, AMD or ATI, I keep... I don't know AMD. which one it is. I'm just used to, it's you know... ATI uh, is, is, an, is an old hat by now. Uh, they claimed uh the v the vice president was like yeah we, we are aware our driver supports bad so here's the here's the thing though um both intel and uh nvidia are paying game developers to use their apis and shit i know that so they hmm? yeah I, I know that they're yeah but like that that doesn't really like yeah that sucks but it's like well a lot this? of their shit is remember that a lot of their shit is proprietary too, like yeah, physics, exactly. hair works, and all of that crap. That's all proprietary, uh, proprietary, and they've been keeping AMD suppressed like that over years now. So yeah. it's it's it, it was really hard for them to get, to gain any semblance of market share just because they their uh, uh, like their hardware seemed worse in comparison in benchmarks, yeah. and that that really hurt them. Yeah, that's that's not what I'm directly referring to. I'm I'm just referring to uh, general driver support. Like I haven't had an mm. ATI card in a long time, but like when I had one back in the day, I, I mentioned this on stream. I had to get third party drivers for my laptop to play Half Life, Oof. and then I Oof. no, I had to get third party drivers to play Doom Three. But then when I wanted to play Half Life, I had to get the regular drivers, which were always at 1.0. It never got updated. So oh my god. When I when I you know when I heard the president of uh you know AMD coming out and going like oh yeah our drivers uh we know, we are aware our drivers are uh still a little lackluster it's like uh, I can't I don't want to go back to that. Hmm. As that is that is a fair assessment I guess. Like I'm sure they do make good hardware like I I've heard their hardware is good it's just you know the support um driver support just a little wonk. Hmm. You don't want Monk with your graphics cards. Yeah. Right, yeah. Also. What these two are talking about. Yeah, don't worry <laughs> about it. Also, also their you know, their Vega launch was pretty lackluster as much as I've heard. Like it, it was out the gate was weaker than the GTX 1080, and they they really had to like they what they had to do was like beat it in, in some way or, or whatever, and that's like, no, it's not what it does. Anyone else remember the Athlon 64 days where they came out with that and it was just like the biggest ass-kicking uh, CPU ever? Hmm. I think I do remember that, you know. I had one of those. It was nice. I think I had one of those as well. Just quite toasty, as was usual for AMD. Or, yeah. Didn't catch fire or anything. It was it was wonderful. Well, I had a regular toast with jam, and it was only slightly burnt. <laughs> not not all the way burnt. No, I was supervised not... when well, I was making that. So. Well, it sounds like you have. Why would you need super? Why would you need supervision for a toast? I was only three. Oh. Well, inconsistent burning. And you never burning. had toast since then? What? <laughs> oh, God. God. I don't understand. What are you on about? Often. I don't know. He, he's trying to make a bad joke injection here. So I'm going to make a, mm. another worse one. Well, if, if you're if you're having uneven burning, it sounds like you have a, you know, a wonky heating element. So you should probably invest in a new toaster to see if you can get it repaired. <laughs> Welcome to the I zombie stream where... Uh, Lou sounds tired, and Rolisha sounds even more tired. Do I? 
Yeah, he sounds a little tired. Lou, why are tired. you tired? Hmm? I said, Lou, why are you tired? I'm not. Oh, you sound tired. Never mind. I may sound a little bit low energy, but I'm, I'm not really tired. Then again, I, I don't have a bed, so... Right now. You still don't have a bed? I told you, like, the delivery is this week on Saturday. God damn. Mm -hmm. well, that, goes, that goes to show both of you. Don't ever anticipate something like that to uh, arrive on time. Yeah. I mean, it, it does arrive on time, I just couldn't get any... Uh, could delivery any sooner. Curse you, cyclists! Yeah, actually, yeah. Hey, I take offense to that. I don't well, think that's you're not, you're not competing in the World, uh, in the world Championships uh, ship that... Um... That's like uh, frying all of our in infrastructure right now, or has been frying for the for the last two two weeks or so. I don't know. I mean, but if it... it's any consolation, we've been having mm -hmm. nothing but freaking repairs on every fucking road in the city. Like I go from my house to my parents' house when I visit. There's a freaking reconstruction on the freaking junction. There's one on the fucking bridge. Bear back one... real quick. Hmm. Yeah, there's one behind the guy. There's fucking. They're built, rebuilt the entire infrastructure, I think. Oh, dude, that's 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 called summer here uh, where I live. They rebuild everything almost every year, and it's in, fucking. It is infuriating. I never noticed that, to be honest. Like, I mean, they, yes, they always rebuild, like, maintain roads, yes, but not to this extent that it extends from my house all the way to my parents' house. That's like mm -hmm. half the city. Yeah. Like around here, they do they do that almost every year. Good lordy blue. Like right now, they're expanding the tram network, and of course, everything they have to almost rip open all of the streets. So basically, the entirety of our city is just one giant ass detour. Rip and build, rip and build. Pretty much, actually, yeah. Your car is huge! That means it needs huge roads! <laughs> I fucking love the Doom comic. Mm. It's so stupid. Um, and I'm pretty sure it knows. <laughs> yep. At least I hope. I, at least I would hope so. Because, you know. Uh, it, it otherwise, does. that's like. Eesh. Yeah, it does, it does. I mean. I, 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 do you remember what the fucking Doom Marine was like talking about? He was fucking kissing and crying when he got his hands on a gun. <laughs> Hi! What? Who? Hi. Who? Who's having a, a gun boner? Uh, the Doom, Doom guy Marine from the Doom comic. Oh. He was in tears when he found a gun. It's like he met his lost, long lost brother or some shit. Same difference. It was very well. well well, yeah, I guess when you're a zombie, not zombie, not zombie, oh, sorry, a demonic invasion in progress. I guess. <laughs> I love that about this new game. Demonic, de demonic invasion in progress. Like that, that's a that's a common enough uh, occurrence that they've got automated messages just for that. It's hilarious. I, I, I love that they casually say, you know, a hell wave came by. It was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> can you can you repeat that? A hell wave. Oh, yeah, it's okay. You said that. Well, don't mm -hmm. forget the freaking annual meeting of who to sacrifice next. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, I mean that's that's normal. That, that is a person saying that. We're talking about an AI saying, "Dr. Hayden, there was a hell wave." It's like, "Excuse me, computer, could you repeat that?" Imagine that happening on the Starship Enterprise. Picard would be would not be having any of it. He'd be like, "There are no hell waves on my ship. God damn it! What the like, what the fuck is a hell wave? Wrong no. franchise." Get me my Earl Grey, motherfucker! <laughs> and let me fix my uh, my clothes real quick while I sit down or stand it's, up. It's called the Picard Maneuver. Oh, I know. Well, it's, a, it's a literally I, called the Picard just, Maneuver, you know. Yeah. 
I just re I just recently showed the Riker sitting down meme to a couple of friends and they just lost their shit because they it was so funny. <laughs> Riker it's... sitting down is the best thing ever. I never noticed it while watching the show for like years. My friends like you never noticed. I'm like never noticed what. And he's like shows me video. I'm like no, get out of here. <laughs> It's so funny. It's so good. Do you bag the chair? <laughs> yeah, basically. But I, actually, I've read up on that like the other day. Apparently, he had a um, he had some sort of back injury, and so it, like this was the most comfortable way for him to sit down and stand up at that time. Yeah, I guess so. But he didn't. He, he didn't do it scripted as the thing. Like he just did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. He, yeah, he, he just did it because he had to. Like everything else would have would have hurt. Well, I, I'm aware that the original uniforms that they had uh, for the first two seasons, maybe three, uh, were mm -hmm. really they were too they were they were sized down one or two sizes mm -hmm. too small, so they looked really good on the officers as they. Ah, uh, uh, that, that's that's where the Picard maneuver comes from. He just has to adjust every time, every time because otherwise he would just slip up. No, no, that's that's the thing. See, these were one piece suits, so like they said that like they, they said that um the dressing the guy who designed the suits made them like this because it was extra tight and it made all the characters look really good he's like but you know mm -hmm. what since they're si two sizes too small they pull down on your shoulders constantly mm -hmm. so uh it was hurting the crew especially after Oof. such you know prolonged shootings and having to shoot every day so mm -hmm. they got new every uniforms that are two pieces so that's where the Picard maneuver came from because it was still made oh. out of the same spandex material so when you stand up, Still it kind of never just slightly too small. I would I would say I would guess. Uh, I think the tops were larger because they had like shoulder pads in and everything. So like, you know, mm. they they looked a lot more heroic, I guess. Mm. So when you stand up, the spandex slides a little bit. So a car maneuver, fix it. <laughs> Star Trek's great. Uh, so good. <laughs> I like I love like little details that nobody really notices until someone just brings it up and is like have you have never seen this I'm like oh my god. See the my thing that annoys me. Exactly, I hmm? that's pretty. No, that's, that's exactly how I felt. My life is a lie. Um, no, because mm. I um, th this is where I was so annoyed because when my friend showed it to me, I was rewatching Star Trek and while I was drawing, I noticed a boom mic come in shot. I was like. I was like, wait a minute. Uh, I, I reverse shot him like, so I noticed that, but I didn't notice mm -hmm. the Riker maneuver. Because <laughs> like the, the, the boom mic, you know, it just kind of like loaded shot for like a second. When, what, I was like, what was that? But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. It's like, whatever. Like, but this, it, like, no. <laughs> that was a very sophisticated and highly advanced technological device for air monitoring or some shit. Yeah, you could you could it's excuse it. It's an air conditioner. <laughs> it's an air conditioner. Because you need one of those on the ship. Mm -hmm. It's the cold pulse around and conditions every single piece of space within the room. Leave the techno battle to me, goddammit. I'll make up techno babble for anything. <laughs> techno babble everything. Techno babble on everything. Yeah, boy. I made up techno babble for uh, one of Geo's complaints about Starlink. He said that uh, he was a little confused that the the ships, um, Star Fox ships. They, when you go to like mm -hmm. the planet, they wind up uh, hovering over the ground, but they don't like you can't do like a free range mode. So I was like, all right, fine, I'll make up techno battle for this. I'm like, well, you see, since this is a spaceship, it's designed to be flying around in space. You're having to devote mm -hmm. a lot of uh, resources to combat. So you know you don't have the full <laughs> maneuverability of the ship because then you know you're having to divert power to you know inertial dampener, so the ship's not pulling itself apart while you're also getting the shields and everything. So I'm like. It's just a matter of power, you know, resource management, my mm -hmm. friend. Sure. See, I'll make I'll make bullshit up for anything. Mm -hmm. Except for the ending of Especially Battlestar Galactica. Well, that, that's easy for me. It's it's uh, comically it's the goddamn 
uh, fantasy shit that I have a hard time making shit up for. It's like, because, mm -hmm. like, you need, like, to know at least 12 different gods' names to come up with some kind of, you know, reason why the sword of ghoul gashing doesn't fucking work on Sundays. <laughs> because people are at church. <laughs> no, All you the see... Are busy. You see... <laughs> You see, it was Thor who made a deal with, uh, fuck, I don't fucking know, uh... Wednesday with, Adams. No, he, it was Thor making a deal with Poseidon. Yes, two different religions, but they crossed over for this one weapon, and Poseidon's mm -hmm. one thing was that he could not and would not let the weapon work on Sundays. Yeah, it was like, all right, you, you want to do this? Fine, but give it some time, all right? It's on an union break. Give it, give it a day off. It's, it, it, it needs some time to relax and shit. Like a sword. Like any he. good sword does. And, and Thor was like, what the fuck are you on about? And he's like, yeah, there's, you know, good swords. They, yeah, they, it's, they, it's need, they need some, they need, some, they need a, good, a good day's rest. Yep, and his name is George, and he's allergic to butter, so no, nothing buttery, you know? Oh, he, he's lactose intolerant? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Also, he has That's his like... favorite bedtime storybook. And he likes it when you make the the train go choo choo. Poseidon, <laughs> are you drunk? Well, no. yeah, You're a drunk. lot, a lot drunk, yes. But <laughs> what is it to you, Mister yeah. Norse Norse religion? Hmm. I, I'm I don't. I don't. I, yeah, yes, I am, but I don't see how that's relevant right now. <laughs> I'm and surprised that's... you're not drunk having a troll for a brother. <laughs> and. And that's why the ghoul gasher will not kill ghouls or gash ghouls on Sundays. Yeah. Because besides the prick, so and he's drunk. Yeah. So it's ghoul gasher asterisk. Some conditions yes. can apply. Meanwhile, Thor's just got his. He's just face palming, like, I don't believe this. <laughs> the chosen one's sitting there going, wait. So this thing doesn't work today. No. 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 Here, here's a tome. It'll explain it to you and it falls from the sky, lands, and there's like a huge plume of dust. It smells suspiciously of, uh, of some kind of ale. <laughs> Why is there a seed for ten boxes of tequila in between the pages? Don't ask. The yeah, Sidon! Curses! That was my tequila, fuckface! Now I'm curious if there was anything remotely close to tequila back in the, uh, Norse gaudy days. I think that's the technical Probably term not. for it, right? I'm pretty Probably. sure the god had some kind of time-traveling contraption or some shit. Probably a lot of mead. Yeah, mead was a lot easier to make from what I understand. Mm. But no hard Dude. stuff, like, I gotta- I gotta- I'm just curious about that now. Hmm. You gonna go on a deep dive now? No, I'm not. I'm not gonna look it up because I got a stream. <laughs> I, I, and I'm not malicious. Hello. Yeah, that too. Google. Did the Greeks have the hard stuff? Did the Norses have the hard stuff? Did the horses have the hard stuff? And they just show you a picture of dicks. They have the hardest stuff. The... Especially Usually on pottery. Horses, if you know what I mean. You... Hey. <sighs> I get it. I wish Do I you though? <laughs> Do you truly? Not my most proudest fap. <laughs> get out, everybody. Uh... Also, are we having a quiet night, or is everyone lurking, or is restream broken? I think restream's broken. Cause Tanza! Give me a sec. Restart. No, I restarted restart restart already three times. I'm seeing like three, four, five people on my end. And no chatting. How dare you? That means we gotta make up all <laughs> the should... uh, bullshit. <laughs> like, like shaming our shaming our viewers into chatting. It's like, mm. You need to be social. Stop being an anxiety. Ex Stop having anxiety! That, Hi, yeah. Mozi. What up, Mozi? Uh, just fucking tired, yeah. Kind of like 
almost everyone except for me for some weird reason I even build it. I should be. I don't get me wrong. I'm tired. I'm slamming down a monster right now. But, uh, you know. I was just curious. Mm. I am emotionally drained. <clears throat> I want to create the best waifu piece. Well, not the best, but a very good waifu piece. And it just didn't turn out so well. Because I thought uh, it would. Oh, the well. sketch looked gorgeous. But the line, I, I don't know what is going on. Mm. But I'm gonna burn it. That's always the case. That you, you're like, oh yeah, this line art looks great. I'm gonna have so much fun inking this tomorrow. Next day, uh... that <laughs> is a rare occurrence. It happens only every blue moon. Well, I'm saying it's it's a common artist complaint. Mm -hmm. well, I never heard anyone complain about that. A few people complain about the program crashing. Uh, I'm wrong pretty layers, sure it's a meme. Uh, I I'm very uh, confident it's a meme, really, where you can look it up and someone show, like has like you know, line art, it looks perfect, and then like they show like the inks, mm. and it's just like a bunch of scribbles on the on the uh, canvas, <laughs> like the literal page. scribbles. Mm. Scribble, 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 mm. scribble, scribble. Speaking of horses, there's a restaurant which set up two horses, two horse statues that look like they are in steroids and crack or something. I need to make a photo of those. Oh yeah, you definitely need to. Do share, especially now that, especially now that you've got Twitter. Hello. How, so how did that happen, by the way? Uh. I yeah, I, I figured as much. And speaking of crack and Twitter, I recently <laughs> started a new game. Oh, which it's one? It's called Let It Die. Wait, is that on PC? Yes, it's on PC now. Oh, okay. How do you for like it? Yeah, for, for those who don't know, it's a roguelike, not exactly Dark Souls-esque, but something similar in terms of combat mechanics kind of game. Mm. You're basically a dude climbing on top of this tower looking for treasure, gods, or whatever the fuck is on top of that thing. And your best friend is Uncle Dead. We should probably mention that it's a Suda 5-1 game. A what now? Uh, Suda, uh, Suda 51 or Suda 51 or whatever, whatever he's called. He's a pretty famous, um, weirdo game. Yeah. He's, he's a pretty famous weirdo or game designer or whatever you want to call him. Uh, he made stuff like no more heroes or, uh, killer seven, killer seven. Thank you. And, uh, lollipop chainsaw and all of that good stuff. Ooh, didn't know that. I, but I, one thing I do know about the game is, um, oh my god, I forgot the name. A very awesome composer was like helping with the soundtrack for that game. He did shit for like Silent Hill and some other mm. several titles that, which I cannot remember on top of my head because I never played them. Okay. But big names are behind that game. Big names, big names. That Silent Hill guy kind of freaks me out because like, how do you think up like what you did for that game? You mean in terms of uh, monster design shit? No, no, I'm talking like, about the music. Like, like, the music was very, very odd. It's mm -hmm. like, it was just a lot of a ambient lot of it. stuff. It's, it's just like, it's like, okay, so, what do you think about this scene? Okay, well, I'm gonna make it sound like someone's hammering a wash machine. She's just gonna go, jing, 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 and like, that'll mm -hmm. be the, that'll be the track for that specific room. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's, uh, it's either called noise or industrial. <laughs> but yeah, I know, I know what you mean. It's, uh, not only that, like he, he's also got some really, uh, like, and every now and then, like the, uh, the music will just turn into like this weird ethereal pop music. Even like it's really hard to explain. He's like a strange the, one. The famous, you, you you know the famous Silent Hill theme, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's very strange, and Keep I love forgetting... it. I keep forgetting Silent Hill's um, opening quote, something about the flesh shirt. Fuck. Whatever. Uh, first really one? Or? Yeah, the uh, first one. No. Oh. Right, hold on. I'm, I'm going to look this up real quick. Uh, YouTube. Uh... Akira Yamaoka. Mm hmm. Yeah. I had his name somewhere in the back of my head, but I just couldn't. But, uh, I just couldn't put a finger on it. Him? And I didn't want to 
misname him. Here he's the legendary. Go. There we go. Yes. The fear of blood tends to create fear for the flesh. That is the opening Damn. line for Silent Hill. Damn. Uh, also, Rolly, I'm going to give you a little bit of a warning for that game that you're playing. You are going to eventually hit a paywall. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit, Sherlock. I'm just oh, you letting hit you know. It? Just letting you know. I already know. Well. There's barely any capacity for all the shit I'm carrying. Uh, death will be, like, so terrible in the next couple of uh, uh, the floors. So, yeah, I, I know, I know. I've seen people play this game. This shit's probably gonna hit the fan, but I'm gonna go hardcore mode and see if I can actually, you know, soldier through this shit. Or mm -hmm. just rage quit. We'll see whichever comes first. I'm not saying yeah, no. But... I'm just giving you a warning. Like, I just want you to have fair warning, because, like, I... I don't like not telling people, like, if I heard something really serious about something. Like, I want you to enjoy the mm -hmm. game. But I also don't want you to go, like, like, this game is, like, bullshit. Because it's like, yeah, it literally is. Because it wants you to give them money. Yeah, which is uh, a very shameful decision on their on Suda's end. Because he usually doesn't do that. Pretty sure it was not his decision. Yeah, yeah. That is true. That is true. Was that one guy who had to go back on his word? Uh, who he was like, there will be no microtransactions this game. Period. Then, mm -hmm. like, a week later, microtransactions. I don't remember who it was, but it, everyone got really pissed off at him. It's like, you know, I really don't think you should be yelling at him. I think you should be yelling at uh, Capcom. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure it was Capcom. Oh, Pretty sure it was a Capcom. Capcom game. game? Yeah. I think so. Let's be honest here. <laughs> who else would it be? And I already have best wife for, for this game. What happened to uh, not having a waifu list? Shut up. Uh, the mushroom <laughs> magistrate. Look, I'm just trying to keep you, you know, on, on the uh, on the clean road of, you know, Christianity, you know. <laughs> you only Jesus. You only I, Jesus. I am. I am fine. I went with Mormonism whatever, the one that supports multiple marriages, forgot the name. It was a Mormonism? Yes. Thank you. And you think, you're thinking of poly, uh, polygamy? Uh, yes. Th whatever that means, yes. <laughs> Having multiple wives is what it means. Yeah, that too. Anyway, yes. The Mushroom Magistrate. She cray cray. I like her. Okay. Gotcha. Understood. She's high as fuck, boy! 10-4, Roger Wilco. I'm just gonna nod my head and say yes. Watch your vector, Victor. At least three. It's a, it's a reference. Have you not seen Airplane? Oh, yeah, 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 sure. I just, I'm really terrible with remembering movie quotes. With or without the snakes. Surely it can't be serious. I am serious. And stop calling me Shirley. I do love at the end of the movie when everything's already solid, he comes back into the cockpit, which is empty, and he says, "Don't, uh, don't forget, we're all counting on you." It's like, mm -hmm. "Oh, he's over, Leslie Nelson." <laughs> <laughs> I miss him so much. Me too. Mm. He was gold. Yeah, comedy gold. Son of a bitch, he's not allowed to. He was, he's not allowed to go. Well, he already checked out. I do love that his gravestone says "Let her rip," though. Lol. <laughs> that is fucking hilarious. That sounds. Um... Cigarette? Yes, I know. <laughs> Lou, come on. Him having an inappropriate saying on a gravestone? I don't think no. we're talking about the same Leslie Nielsen. Oh, there's no, but we are. <laughs> there's no, there's no possible way. No. <laughs> also, if if you haven't already, you gotta watch the eulogy for uh, was it Graham Chapman, like the uh, the one from Monty Python that died, and the yeah, eulogy yeah, so... by uh, John Cle uh, John Cleese. You'll fucking die laughing. I swear to God, it's it, so it... funny. 
it was sad as 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 much as it was funny. Mm-hmm. It was more funny, actually, I think. I, yeah, I, I but, get that, know. but I, I get tied up in, you know, stuff like that. Mm. Uh, yeah. I, I know this is, I know this is, like, silly to say it like this, but, like, in terms of story and RPGs and everything, I always really get caught mm -hmm. up in the characters, like, to the point where it can make up for, like, a mediocre story. It'll also be like, wow, this game was great. But... Yeah. So I when that. someone passes like that, it like you know you hear them mm. talking about it, it's like it still sucks. It's just like uh, it stings. Yeah. They were best buddies for like ever. Mm. They said rude yeah, but... things and got the church mad. It was wonderful. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Like oh, the the the, tele the TV debates about Life of Brian is just. <laughs> It's so I know. Good. It's so good. It's like, so good. It's like, oh, you, you, you very much said offensive things about, you know, uh, Lord Jesus Christ. I didn't say anything no, rude. We just told him. We just told him to speak up. <laughs> I, was, I, was just, I was, I was, crying from laughing. I'm like, he's no, not wrong. No, he totally isn't. It, also, <laughs> the movie isn't about Jesus Christ. It's about Brian. I, I think I was called Brian. That's literally. It, it's in a name. Jesus only appears in like one scene. <laughs> Oi, speak up! <laughs> <laughs> See, let me put it this way: yeah. I haven't even seen that movie, and I know that scene. I I've been waiting to see the movie. I, I brought my brother's like, okay, we're gonna watch it. I'm like, okay, didn't see it. I oh still know God, that scene, dude. despite not you knowing. You watched that movie, dude. I know, I know, I say that quite often, but seriously, go watch that movie. You'll love it. You'll be in stitches. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta see it. I gotta see the. You know what? What's you, up? You know what? You you brought up this idea once, and I, I think I'm gonna bring it up again. This is like one of these movies that we could watch together. Like somehow get a hold of a copy of it. I I I know I've got it on Netflix. I've got it on DVD. Whatever. I don't care. Just get a hold of it, and we'll just watch it together over Discord. Well, since it's Halloween, just... I, I wanted to try and watch uh the thing again with someone because. Ooh. Ooh, good call. I, good cause, fucking call. Because I could watch that movie over and over and over again because I fucking love it. It's Halloween! Oh, yeah, that's true. Also, because, because like there's always something to notice in that movie. Like it, it, There's so much going on. Dude, I saw it on Blu-ray for the first time like this mm. year, and I was just like, it's like, wait a minute. That guy's got a nose ring. What the fuck? I didn't know that. <laughs> but, like I said, I said it to my brother while we're watching. He's like, "No, he doesn't." Wait a minute, he does. We're like, "Motherfucker!" Yeah. He has a what? How? It's like how was our DVD that shitty in quality? Apparently. Also, doesn't it play a, a pretty big role in the movie? No, you're thinking the prequel. Oh right, the remake. Uh, oh the the prequel. Like, uh, so much missed potential there. Yeah, just a little bit. Mm. Let's not mention Everyone's... it anymore. Sorry, what were we saying, really? Everyone's tired and nobody trusts each other. <laughs> <laughs> that's not relevant right now at all. Yeah, that's, uh, that's our stream summed up. <laughs> Except for the not trust part. I don't trust Otherwise, anyone either. Well, here. you say that. I think the moment I get up to go, you know... Use the bathroom on stream. You're just like gonna be like, all right, let's talk about Mike Bynes back. Yeah, from the bathroom. From, the... from the bathroom. You motherfuckers! I heard that. <laughs> I got well, wireless we... headphones. Well, we didn't <laughs> hear the water. <laughs> wow, you are so tired today. Good lord. <laughs> Get some sleep, dude. Seriously. I must create. You can create when Most you're like. You I was just about to say, there's not much creating going on if you're that tired. Come on. I just finished another piece and it looks way better than the one I was working on previously. Well, not finished, but I'm. Um, uh... Actually, yeah, I just need to know, drop some inks on this bitch. Well, this batch. Is gonna be a batch. Well, there you go. I stand corrected. Titty, what the fuck? All oh, right, didn't reference the layer. There we go. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Oh yes. Did you have a, did you have a, 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 a layer called Titty Milk? Uh, no, I was gonna reference one of uh, Jim Mather's uh, videos, the Titty Milk Latte. Oh. Quite. Quite. Wait, Jim, uh, Jim Mathers? Mathers, yes, the one of. Uh, Told me this room? Yes. Your, ah, there you go. Neurotically yours. Mm hmm. Haven't seen his stuff in ages, but then again, I'm not subscribed to his YouTube anymore. I don't know. Anymore? He's... Why? I don't know. I, I just think he's lost his edge somehow, or it's like, it's like the same shit over and over again. I'm like, oh, shit. I'm, pre I'm pretty burned out on his stuff. Which that, which doesn't mean that it's bad by any means, don't get me wrong. I, I, I love him and I, what he does, but it, at this point it's like, mm. It's lost its entertainment value to me, let's put it this way. I like his talk show. Wait, he has... What? He's not rich, he has a talk show. Oh. Okay. The guy. Good night, Mozart. have a good one. Bye. Yeah, see ya. If you don't get a grip on your sleep schedule, exploring Vienna will be a pain. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't worry about that. It is ah, a capital, sleep. and in the capital, no one sleeps at night. Sleep well, schedules are pretty easy to fix anyway, so... Well, yes, true, but it's hard to maintain them. That's the challenge. That is true. I've done well, it just... so many times. Also, you've got, like... Almost, almost an entire month to do that. Uh, Still, so you know, I can try all month. I'm gonna fuck shit up again. <clears throat> Every goddamn time. The last I had a sleep schedule fixed two days ago. Fucked it up on the next night. How? I don't know. I was. It's, I had it's, a boner. It's, it's your, it's your short attention span, isn't it? It's like, all right, I, I really need to go to sleep. Ooh, what's that shiny? You have a fucking no, I... smartphone that can yell at you to go to bed. You know this, right? Does he? I, I can do that? Hey, yeah, just yes. a fucking, like, reminder. Just be like, you know, alarm. Alarm! For... Alarm! For, go bed, you know, going to bed. Yeah. Fucking yeah. goon. Bruh. Bruh, I fucking hit the snooze button seven million times before I finally and... hit off and go back to sleep. Then get no, some self-control, motherfucker. An alarm to... As a, as a reminder to go to sleep, not to wake and, up. I, and I'll do the same thing as I do with my fucking alarm. I'm just gonna and hit stop it. doing oh, that, you cunt. <laughs> yeah, I can't help it. Yes, you can. It's easy. You just go. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be retarded today. I've done it. Yeah. You can do it too. So did I. I, I, I fixed my I fixed my nail biting problem with, like that and some bitter uh, nail polish. Totally That's helped. Fun. Yeah, and fucking bitter. Yay. But it's always the same story. Five more minutes. No, and you don't do that it. then. You just say, nope, yeah. you drop your pen, you go, all right, done. Yeah, no. everything I'm doing now I can do tomorrow. No. I need some sleep. No, yes, Rolly, because otherwise, you know what happens when you keep complaining about something that is inherently your fault? Everyone just says, well, fix your problem. Quit your bitching. You, we keep telling you how to solve this problem. In that I'm order. Yes, yes, you well, are. You very much are. Yes, you very much are. <laughs> I'm only saying that sleep is for the weak. Guess and what? You are. No! <laughs> yeah, then don't complain when you're fucking tired. It's easy as I'm that. I'm tired. You are. Sorry. You just I'm told not. us. It was Sorry. fake news. Sorry about the phone. Hold up. That's fine. Goddamn house phone. <laughs> <sighs> now I have to remember to put the battery in after the stream's done so I can listen in for any calls for, like, you know, need help bringing things in or something. Mm. So, yeah. No more five more minutes shit. shit. You go to fucking bed. Like right now. No. Yes. No. Fix thine crap. Just boy. Go it's take my a crap, and I do what I want. Go take a twenty-minute nap, and then you'll be fucking better. That's what everyone tells me. I can't nap, so yeah. it 
The naps have never fucking worked for me. I just, I just wind up going like, okay, now I just want to go to fucking bed. Mm. Same. Na naps still, don't like... work for me either. Yeah, but st still, like, if, if you're going to complain all the fucking time and, and you don't do anything to fix it, then you've lost all, like, you've lost all rights right to complain as far as I'm concerned. I love complaining! I know, but you, you shouldn't. You Why should not? stop complaining and follow through with your dumbass bullshit. But then I won't have anything to complain about. Sure you will. That's the it's point. You can, you can complain about a, a new problem in a video game instead of going, "Hey guys, I know it's a di different day, different week, but uh, I still didn't get any sleep because I decided to save five more minutes." Yeah, because I'm tired as fuck again. Go to sleep, like, dude. I'm not even kidding. Seriously, go to sleep. No, I don't wanna. You, <laughs> you know, gotta. you know, Lou's got the ability to immediately kick you out of the Discord. <laughs> yep. But he can't shut down my live stream. <laughs> I can't do that, but I can still kick you out of the Discord if you don't go to sleep. Maybe it will help. I doubt it, but still, it's 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 a measure that I'm willing to enforce. Because in this regard, you're almost like a little child. And it pains me to say that because I fucking love you, but come on, dude. That seriously. Like... I am an artist, I must create. An artist also needs sleep. Go to sleep. When he can afford it. You can. <sighs> sleep doesn't cost anything. It costs you me daft. time. You daft Don't cunt. You've got, you've got plenty of time, you you don't have a job. Don't worry, let's, uh, if you can move on, and if he brings it up again, then we'll yell at him some more. Oh, yeah. Um, so... What's the plan? Oh, yeah, I, I got something complaining, but I have to, uh, make a post office delivery. Because apparently my brother mm. didn't bring the package, despite it being there since again? last night. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't mind bringing them down, but, like, when, like... I usually try and bring it during the night or something. And I can't mm -hmm. do it on Sundays because usually the box is full because, you know, people are idiots and they put large packages in the uh, thing that's only supposed to take small ones. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, like, after the stream, I'm going to zip down to the post office. It's not, like, a huge deal. I can go there, like, pretty much whenever, but, like, the sure. closer to when they are, uh, when they were open, the less likely mm -hmm. it is that the box will be full. And the less likely uh, I'll have to swear at every god, you know, that I know. <laughs> Zeus! Wait, no, that was, Zeus! that was very Kratos-y right there. What do you want? I'm drinking. Not again. <laughs> Still. <laughs> I never stopped. <laughs> Thankfully, uh, I don't know if you saw it, Lou, I got my mm. rock brush to work because that was not oh. going to be me sitting there making thousands and thousands of rocks. I mean, it would have been a very you thing to do, but... No, I would have given up. I would have just been like, you know what? This could be a sandy beach instead. Because <laughs> I was like, you know what? I, I, I saw a picture with a cool looking rocky beach and I've never seen one of those in person. I'm gonna look up a photo and I'm gonna try and replicate it. And I was like trying to mm. just draw like the outlines. I was like, all right, then, I, then I'll just fill it in and I'll draw some shitty shading on it. And I was just like, this is, this is not gonna work. Mm -hmm. So I made a rock brush. Sweet. Also clever. I, I, I have learned that making a brush is like the best thing. I, I'm gonna be one of those people in like a year or two who's like, Hey, buy my brush pack. <laughs> and someone's gonna be like, this brush pack sucks, it doesn't make any sense, why is it all foliage and shit? You shut your whore mouth! <laughs> you try taking five I minutes to make totally a background. I can that coming, actually. <laughs> <laughs> so sick of backgrounds. <laughs> anything, Especially anything I can do to make them easier, I will fucking do it. Yeah. Also, especially you going, you shut your whore mouth. I can totally see that. I'll say that right to a customer's face. 
Bitch, do you know how to make a background? No, neither do I. So use this goddamn brush. Yeah. It's not the background it, pack. The fuck up. It's not the background nope. pack because use it because you'll lose your mind otherwise. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Catchphrase coming in 2019. <laughs> with the brush pack. <laughs> yes, you, 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 get, you get one catchphrase with, with the brush pack. <laughs> yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> but seriously, fuck backgrounds. Mm-hmm. I've spent a very unusually long amount of time drawing them myself in the past few days. I didn't have a my choice. Comic, though. Oh, do tell. Yeah, I've got this uh, project going on uh, for a artist colleague of mine. We met at a uh, at the at a comic con a while ago, and he asked me, "Well, would you like to um, would you like to create a four page comic for us, like uh, for our uh, for our next book?" I was like, "Yeah, sure." It's, uh, just send over the um, send over the script and everything it should be easy. That was back in April, yeah. and of course I fucking procrastinated as as much as I could, and now I'm like, hmm, should probably get this going. <laughs> All right then, hold on. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> I you am dumb. very much ready, and I know it is all my fault. You dumb. No, that that's all I'm gonna tell you. You dumb. I dumb. know that. See, this is this is the difference. I am aware of it. You so I'm dumb. I'm not denying that. I see my and case. I seriously, got to hmm? go on. No, go. Go ahead. Sorry, I was just gonna. I was. I was just gonna say. I, I seriously got to stop procrastinating all the fucking time. It's getting annoying, even even for myself. I am anti procrastination. Like if someone says, "Oh, we gotta get to this," I'm just like, "Let's do it right now." I, I stand yeah. right up. I'm like, "Let's do it right fucking now." No, I'm tired. No, we gotta do it now. And then they wind up putting it off, and then I wind up paying for it later because they procrastinated. Anyway, uh, <laughs> no, I, I wish I had a way around this, but unfortunately, it was a setup shot, and if you're not setting up the shot, then... Uh, yeah, it kind of leads to poor mm -hmm. pacing or storytelling in your comic, so it mm. it, it was a necessary evil... <sighs> yeah, I'll have to show it to you. And it needlessly confuses your readers and everything. Like, yeah. Yeah, I see some artists avoid doing it and some other things. I'm like, mm, you, you really need some kind of story shot to show where they are. Like, I know backgrounds suck and you may not be good at doing them, but, you mm -hmm. know, figure it out. Get Google SketchUp or whatever easy thing they got these days. I, I haven't used Google SketchUp. The fuck is Google SketchUp? Uh, it was. I, don't, I, I, I heard... It, they might not be doing it anymore. It, it's a 3D program that's really useful for making like buildings and stuff and like interiors. Oh. Oh, okay. Let me look this up. Okay. I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's around anymore. I heard something went down with it, that, and someone doesn't use it anymore. So I was like, oh, maybe it. Maybe it don't do the working anymore. I still think. Might not be good anymore. I don't know. No idea. I mean, I'm not saying it was like good to begin with. Like, it. I don't think you want any finished work being done in it. But, um, it was good at least for uh, helping out backgrounds and stuff. Like, I think. Yeah, I it's, think, it's good for getting the idea across. Is what you're saying? Yeah, I think, and I'm saying I think because I don't know for sure. Uh. Mm -hmm. That um, Daniel Sharp's um, uh, Demon Archives used it a little bit. Mm -hmm. I think uh, I think his artist Sebastian uh, did. Um, he would do the suit, the uh, mech suit mm -hmm. in Google SketchUp, and then he would paint over it. Hmm. Which is fair enough because I've drawn that thing a couple of times, and I was ready to fucking just drink all the bleach under the sink. <laughs> Pretty much. So many that fucking thing angles. Looks horrifying. Yeah, that thing looks horrifying to draw. The interface is just not friendly at all. Oh, Google SketchUp? Yep. Oh, so you use it? 
I used it once, yes. It was like, yeah, fuck it. Okay. I think the appeal is it's free and mm. you need a building good real enough. quick. Well, this will do you good. Yeah. I think it's got some clip art shit in there that'll help you out further. In a pinch, yeah. I could see that. My tip for backgrounds is if you're, you know, if it's not the focus, make it blurry. Just make it blurry. Don't don't put a lot of details like it to it. Just like kind of have it there, not noticeable. And there you go. You did it, kid. You did it. Now, well, help. depends on the comic itself. Like if if it if it, uh, if the comic itself lends or uses blurry elements in and of itself, then sure. Like in my comic, it would not work. A, bl a blurry backup, uh, uh, a blurry back blackout. God damn it! A blurry backdrop will will, will always look weird. I think it would look fine. I think, yeah. I think you are just used to seeing your backgrounds the way you are. I think if you gave it a chance, I think it could work. Because I believe I used a blurry slash simplified background for your comic, and I was like, yeah, this works. Good. All right. I'm talking like when All characters right. are in shot, not like the backgrounds in focus. Don't like you have to use blurring in a specific way for that. You got to do the Frank Frazetta mm -hmm. thing where it's like the further away from the focus, you you add less detail. Yeah, 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 sure. yeah. Sure, the less detail stuff that I totally agree with because you know who needs it. And but... some depth of field effects can be good, like you know, again, blurry. Mm-hmm. I know some people aren't a fan of depth of field. Well, fucking get used to it because that's what your eyes do all the time. You just don't entirely notice it. Mm. True. I was trying to explain it to a friend who's like, he's like, I hate depth of field. It's not natural. I'm like, your eyes do it all the time. He's like, no, they don't. I'm like, yes, they do. Hold up your <laughs> finger, look at your finger, and try to focus on the background. You can't. It it's my my friend isn't clever in that regard he, he, he he's smart with like some other things but like he's just like no everything's a focus i'm like your eyes aren't that good it's just science fact i'm sorry yeah i'm not that trying is to not be a dick your eyes work i'll try to be Focal a dick length is a thing yeah like your your eyes are a very crappy defective thing like there's a nerve <laughs> in the way of your optics so i mean oh yeah Blind whatever fuck. the fuck yeah, it's like, whatever you thought you were, like, you know, good at seeing things. No, your brain's actually piecing together a lot of it. Mm-hmm. Like, peripheral vision, it's a real thing, but you're you're mostly yeah. just reacting to a thing. You're not seeing it fully. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yeah, peripheral vision, vision is weird. Yeah, and, and peripheral vision also depends on mm -hmm. from person to person. Like, there's a test you can take that, like, will you know, let you know how good your peripheral vision is. Like, yeah. when when do also you can, see this thing? Yeah, also you can you can pretty much exactly pinpoint the location of your of the blind spot inside your eye. Mm -hmm. With a very simple test, and it's it's really cool. Oh, you want for those of you who are watching, you want a really annoying trick? Uh, <laughs> go to a wall, put your finger on it, and get like <laughs> maybe a foot away from it. Close one eye, and then close the other. Like, you know, go back and forth between eyes. Your finger's gonna move. Well, yeah. That's how to find your dominant eye. From what I gathered, anyway. Mm. Whichever one... For the eye. Huh? Hmm? You just look for the eye that's T-posing. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is a fucking awful joke. I know. I have no regrets. You never do. Sometimes. Mm. It's a rare occasion. Wait, did I actually do the background for this? Oh no, I did not do the background for this. Oh no! I thought I was oh. more done! Oh no! Oh. You thought you were done, how adorable. No, I didn't think I was done. I thought I was more done yes. than I... Than I... Uh, fuck. That's the dude who starts over all the freaking time. Hello. Fucking damn it! You thought you were done, but alas, it is me! Background! I hate backgrounds. And I, can, and I can just hear God. First Zeus, then Thor, and now me. What did I do? 
everything. You moved in mysterious ways. <laughs> the lady doesn't make... dig that. No one digs that. No. I was gonna make a really harsh joke, but I'm just gonna avoid that one. <laughs> uh, you know who'd like a little less mystery in their lives? Cancer patients. I said it. Oh. <laughs> I fucking wow. went for it. Yeah, you're going to hell for that. <laughs> if one exists. If it existed, which it doesn't. Yeah, I would still, I would, you would still go there. Like, oh, my... Jesus, it, like, that, that was so horrible, we're gonna make hell right now. Oh my... Just for this guy. Fuck this guy. Good, all my friends would be there anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll be right there with you, like, hey -o! Oh, let me guess. What are you doing here, you stupid, you stupid bitch? <laughs> let me guess. Hitler jokes? Hitler jokes. Yeah. Hitler yeah, jokes. that's up. All of them. <laughs> I literally wrote, wrote a book on them. <laughs> wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> and then there's me in between you guys. Waifus? That's, how you, know it, that's how you know it's hell. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rolly, why are you here? Oh. Uh, something about personal pan pizza. No, wait. Personal hell. Something, something. Uh, I was told here to hang around for five bucks to terrorize you guys. I was like, well, five bucks is five bucks. Ham. Damn it. <laughs> Ding. Backgrounds, backgrounds. Burn down all the houses of your neighbors, <laughs> of your friends, because cool. it gets the backgrounds done faster all the time. Look out, because here yeah. comes the background man. Background man. I mean, yeah, like drawing a burned field is way easier than like cityscape or something. I know, it's wonderful. I even have a brush for it. <laughs> <laughs> Wink. Buy my brushes. <laughs> I did. I didn't make that one. I can't sell it. I wish I did. I, I found like a, a. It was like a uh, ember brush. I was like, like this is stupid. Wait a minute. No, this is great. I love this thing. I want more. Yeah. I love the one. So I found the. Uh, I found the creator's house, and I just held a match, and I said, "All right, you're gonna make another one." I already did. Oh. Cool. Got any donuts? Thanks. You just you take that one. You smash it against the floor. Another one. <laughs> I gotta, I have to buy that uh, other person's brush. Really, already got it. Um, I'm literally um, going to buy it because uh, the person has a a grass brush that I I thought looked really good. I'm like, oh, mm. I can get so much use out of that for skyline. <laughs> That's fair. You know what makes <laughs> you know what makes backgrounds worse when you have floating islands. You have to draw fucking uh. geology in the air. What was Great. I thinking? Seriously, what were you thinking? <laughs> I was thinking it'd be I a fun adventure. <laughs> I, I was I was thinking it would be fun, but you know what? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, it really isn't. Mm-hmm. F is for friendship. Hold on, let me try to remember the song. Oh, please don't. F is for friends that do stuff what? together. U is for you and me. Oh god. Uh, I I should totally make a brush for the Skylands. Just a couple little little. Like I'll have one for like teeny ones. I'll have ones for big ones. I will be king of the motherfucking brushes. Except for all the other people who make you know hundreds of thousands of brushes and they're all actually quality mm -hmm. and good stuff. Yeah. Except for all of them, I will have the quality brushes. <laughs> And then there's Mike in the background. And it's for no survivors! And he just dumps the fake nuke on the entire background. <laughs> <laughs> and it's nothing but that grayscale checkboard. I'm like, holy shit. Say, uh, Mike, why, why, are you all, why, why are all your backgrounds so desolate and dark and green, uh, like look like a, a, a bombed up landscape? And you're like, I have my reasons. Let's just say 
I am a big fan of the work of the man named Molotov. Wait, it's not a man. <laughs> That's a cocktail. Have one! <laughs> right in their face. <laughs> and as he scribbles on the walls in the background, no TV and no beer. <laughs> People go just like, it burns! I know! <laughs> Suffer like I did! <laughs> My hate is greater than yours. Anyone? Some, I wait. Sounds familiar. That's what are you referencing? From that oh. smudge. Never mind. How the I... fuck would I know that? I don't know. Yeah, N neither Lou or me has watched Naruto, Naruto, whatever it's called. I've only seen a couple of parts through, um, like someone go like, "Oh, you should check out this fight." I'm like, "Okay, I'll watch this fight," and then um. I read some of the manga. That's about it. I can weep. Shut up. Yeah, I was about to, I was about to say, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know how many of you motherfuckers are weebs here, so... You've watched more oh, anime you, than I you have were... recently. That is true. Did I? No, I meant, I meant Lou. Lou's like, oh, you're a weeb. Meanwhile, his, like, he's actually finished, like, One Punch Man. I haven't. I... I was like, oh, I really want to see this new... Sh this I said new show. It's not a new show. It's from the 80s. This show called Slayers. I really wanted to watch it because I hear nothing but good things about it. I watched six episodes. I was really enjoying it. I stopped. I want to watch more, <laughs> but I'm just really, really shit at, you know, watching stuff. Mm -hmm. Except, uh, you know, The Thing. I want to watch The Thing. Anyone want to watch The Thing with me? I want to watch The Thing. Hey, who wants sure. to watch The Thing? I'm going to watch The Thing. When do you want to watch the thing? When do you want to watch the thing? Come on, Lou, tell me when you want. When do you want to watch it? Too many things. Um, how does Sunday evening sound to you? Uh, put me down as a maybe because the weekends always wind up being fucking uh sure shit. Uh, because we were supposed to, we we took out all the air conditioners from our house this weekend. Mm -hmm. But we still have to take down a canopy from the backyard and just just the long and the short of it, maybe. Uh, right. I def I definitely want to. Like the I I was pitching that yesterday instead of Deadpool. I'm like, come on, it's Halloween, motherfucker! But uh, it's a fucking thing. Exactly. Do you? How, why do you need any more convincing? Best fucking yeah. horror movie ever. Yeah. Name me a better one. Oh, well, there's Holloway. Shut up. Shut up. Okay. Alien. Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Can wait. Well, that's sci-fi horror. That's I'm classifying it as a different thing. It still counts. It's still horror. Lou, the, the proper response is the thing is sci-fi horror too because it comes from space. I mean, yeah. Also, the thing is pretty Lovecraftian, so. I love that the fucking FX artist at the time was uh, 23 years old or something. I'm not kidding. I know. I know you're not. You never are. I never joke. I don't, I don't joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. You are retarded. I know. And I'm pretty much done. God damn it. However, however, I will stick around. Because I've still got my, like, the other one, uh, the other comic left to do. Anyway, I'm just going to outro this comic. If you want to read this comic, you can do so tomorrow at pmcomic.com, but I'll still be around. So, yeah, feast your eyes tomorrow, I guess. Right. On to something else entirely. And now for something completely different. And here's Wonderwall. <laughs> God damn it. Hey. Boo. I think I'm gonna make an outro as well. Thank you all for sticking around. I have been relicious. My name is Delicious, Suspicious, Vicious, Nutritious, and as always, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace! I'm gonna Are we actually gonna go to bed now? No, I'm gonna play a bit more. God damn it. Go to bed, bed, you stubborn cunt! Okay, let me just get my controller on so I can plug it in. No! Okay, fine, I'll turn Getting your control controller does not count as going to bed, you idiot. But I'll be in bed. What? No. Go to bed. Be Just in bed. really, really.
go to bed. Okay. You're asleep. You can still play Let It Die tomorrow. With the I'll amount of moaning you've been doing throughout the entire stream, just suddenly I just hear, just go to bed. Zombies are less yeah. noisy than you. And less tired. I mean, That's naturally, true. but you got the idea. All I wanna do is have some fun. I got this <laughs> feeling I'm not the only one. <laughs> it's just a song I just remembered. Don't remember where it came from, but it's a cool song. It's it was about it, Weird Al Yankovic. No. Weird Al Yankovic. Bad. No. Did a parody on that song. Naturally. Let it go. Did you happen to see the uh, Twitter thread that uh, wound up happening around my little vote for uh, what to draw? Uh, no. What about it? I'll link that to you real quick, because I, I, I was more than amused with it. Mm. It was an interesting experiment. Uh, hold on. Where? Where be you? Wait, was that, the, was that the one where you asked if you should draw Arlie being cool or being cute and shit? Yeah, did you see, like, the responses and everything? Uh, no, I did not see the responses. I just saw you tweeting that out. Okay, I, I'll, uh... I will link it to you. Mm, please do. Spoop. Oh my god, I heard that from here. Wow. Oh, right here. Alright. Oh, yeah, I wasn't thinking. I just was like, Link. Mm -hmm. He come to town. Come to save the Princess Zelda. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. That that amused me way too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I might ask uh, the artist if I can put that in issue two. Banner? No, uh, I I want to put it in issue two, like as an extra. Just like have a uh, uh, you know like show like a tweet thread maybe in there. If that right. makes any sense. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that'd be fun. Yeah. I mean, I was planning on doing a AMA, you know, in character. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a cool idea. I've been really wanting to do that. Mm. Oh. Shut up, you know into characters I get. I know, I know. I wasn't I wasn't awing about that. What were you awing about? Oop. Drop something in your Discord. Oh god. Oh, oh. god. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez, what is this? I see Leopard Gecko. Ah, uh, look up! Yes. Look at her, she's so happy! I'm assuming it's yeah. her because it's the big eyes. Like, oh, I know you! <laughs> you are the food bringer! You got any worms? <laughs> You're the food bringer. Yeah, my 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 yeah, geckos so will do the same thing. Oh, they're adorable. I can uh, if I reach into uh, a wall, you know the uh, the big male ones. Uh, Tenga, mm -hmm. just like you know, rub his head. He like pushes his head like up against my hand. Like, oh man, you really do Aww. like getting pets. <laughs> I wish I could get a video of it, but I, I don't have like a proper like phone thing for that kind of thing. So. I was wondering, what, what do you use for videos? Because I've seen you post uh, post a couple of them, but I never figured. You don't have a phone, yeah. You don't have a phone, like a smartphone. But what, I, what? I I use a Surface. Seriously. Or, or my brother uses um, his uh, smartphone. Depends on like oh. which one you're talking about. I I don't remember which uh, which uh, videos you posted recently. I, I, I do recall one where it's where you were like, "Ah, oh, it's winter, isn't it?" Yeah, that that's me using the surface. Jesus. Yeah, I know. Bad, I guess. I'm I'm one of those 
fucking assholes who uses their, uh, tablet as a camera, but I'm not, like, using it outdoors, like, in a crowd. That That's definitely one thing I will say I don't do. Oh. Yeah, I mean, I, I I would not have ex I would not have expected you to do that anyway. So Cause that's the thing I, I know Linus makes fun of. I'm like, well, at least I'm not <laughs> that level of uh, asshole. Says the plug. guy wearing sandals and socks. <laughs> that is inexcusable. <laughs> yeah, I do love Linus though. He's a heck of a weirdo thing. Yeah. He's Canadian. Let's just go with that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry, babe. I'm sorry, babe. Why are you still up? Uh, uh, reasons. Bitch. Imagine how much better it would be if you slept. How much nicer, re more refreshed it'd be, more productive. Yeah. Imagine how how much more rested you would be. How much more energy you would have for everything. And how much easier it would be to maintain your sleep schedule for Vienna. It'll be fine. You no, say it that. Won't. You say that, but jet lag is a hell of a thing. Oh, yeah. It's only two hours. Only two hours, he says. Well, you're flying, right? Yep. Ah, cool. I mean, yeah, that is a very short flight, but still, you gotta uh, you gotta take a an hour of uh, time difference into account. Like jet lag is a bit a bit of a bitch, even if it's just one hour. You know what I hate about? Uh, well, the, the biggest trip I made was uh, to California, so like you know, across you know the entire country. Um, mm -hmm. The thing that drove me nuts the most was. Uh, it's not like New York where, like, you can go, there's, like, a lot of places to still go if you want to, like, grab a snack or something. Like, no, everything, like, the moment it hits a certain hour, everything's just closed. You're like, like oh, fuck. Why doesn't this work? Oh, you, like, you would, uh, yeah, you would hate it here. <laughs> That's it's the exact same thing for the entire country. Let me, let me ask you something. Do you, do you not even have, like, a 24-hour McDonald's, like, in an emergency? Nope. Nope. <sighs> Holy crap. Yep. Like and I got a seven eleven down the, the block. Worst. Yeah. We don't we don't have anything that's open twenty four hours at least. I mean at, at least uh if you don't count um what's it called? God damn it, I'm drawing a blank here, Jesus. Gas stations? Thank you. Yeah. Unless you count gas stations then everything's closed. I, I think even past 11 p.m. Uh, I might count gas stations because around here, some of them have like convenience stores inside of them. So I mean, I, don't know. I mean, yeah, it's just way more expensive than anything. So true, but like in a pinch, like you know, you're up like yeah. super late, like doing crunch or something. You're just like, shit, I gotta get this fucking thing done. Yeah, then I guess you could count that. Also, I'm pretty sure there's one pizza delivery that's open 24 hours, uh, like uh, way past, uh, way past anyone else. So I guess mm -hmm. you could count that one as well, even though it's kind of it's the worst one. But still, it's hey, it's and it's like, it's like hey, it's uh, pizza's like sex, even if it's a bad one. It's hey, it's still pizza. I I beg to I, differ on that. I've had I've had Pennsylvania yeah, yeah. pizza, and it's yeah. just like. You guys in Pennsylvania, you don't know how to make a pizza. The cheese isn't supposed to be fucking liquid that spills off the goddamn, uh, you know, crust, mm. you fucking goons. It's supposed to be mm. goo gooey, not liquid. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't be able to stick a straw into your cheese and drink it. Ew. <laughs> Ew. Please never put it like that again. It's awful. Ugh. Don't, don't blame me. Blame Pennsylvania. The whole state. All of them. They're all at fault. Even if they've never owned a pizza shop or never even ate a slice of pizza. They're at fault. Especially yeah. if they've never eaten a slice of pizza. Those people aren't people. They're freaks. <laughs> oh, but I'm lactose intolerant. Excuses. Also, excuse you. <laughs> Weaklings. 
fucking hell. How could you not mm. have pizza? Jesus, I, I, I already had pizza like two or three times this week alone. I mean, counting last week and this, this week, because it, this one's barely started. And, still, and, I, and I could go for pizza fucking again. What the hell? Because pizza's the most versatile food. You can get it with, like, anything on it, except for pineapple. That is true. Seriously, you can and get sausage on it, you can get it with pineapple. extra... Go on. Mm. And anyone who claims that pineapple is ever okay should be murdered. Probably in their sleep. Speaking, speaking of, uh... Pineapple on pizza. I I made a joke about that. And, of murder. And I I <laughs> speaking of murder. I love it. No. Um. <laughs> speaking of um pineapple on pizza. I, in Skyline, I made a joke about that. I'm just wondering if it's a lame joke to make. But I, at the same time, I'm just kind of like, eh. No, I I'm gonna roll it. At, this, at the same time, is it in universe? Like, is pizza a thing? Is uh, are pineapples a thing? It well, consider. <laughs> considering it's a, uh, yeah, I mean, considering my heritage, you know, as a fine New Yorker, you know, we invented pizza, you know, not those uh, sweaty Italians that you might have heard of. No, um, actually, actually, apparently the Greeks invented pizza. All the more evidence to why Italians need to, you know, <laughs> shut their shut their cannolis. No, um, uh, in universe, sure. Like I haven't done anything with it yet, but. Um, the comic's not gonna be entirely serious. I think that I I, I figured out the direction and theme I want to go for it. Mm -hmm. Like I thought a ho about it a whole lot, even though it shouldn't have been like that hard to think of. It's probably gonna be around Dragon Ball, the original Dragon Ball level of uh, serious, where like you know maybe there will be like a death, but it won't be like super on camera or whatever. I I haven't. Mm -hmm entirely thought that out. it's not gonna be super serious is, is is the thing like there'll be serious moments but it's gonna be 99 percent lighthearted and and good yeah. also you won't have goku's balls everywhere because you know dragon ball yeah. thanks for that akira toriyama i really needed to see goku's balls in every other issue Told you, my friend gave me a comic that has uh, one issue of Dragon Ball and one episode, uh, one issue of uh, Dragon Ball Super, and it's like page two, Goku's dick, and you're like, great. <laughs> Thank you. It's like, it's like, it's like you know Goku's uh, eight or something in Dragon Ball. I'm like, I, I really had no interest in seeing that. Thank you, Kira, Toriyama. Mm -hmm. All right, Whatever. I just looked this up. I just looked up the history of pizza. Uh -oh. And while it is true that the ancient Greeks already did something similar, similar like the pizza as we know it, with like tomatoes and everything on it, just actually did originate in uh, in Italy. But is it like the pizza that I've showed you before? The deep dish one, or which one was that? I'll I'll just look it up. Make myself hungry. And I'm just gonna bounce for now, catching the flip side. Right. Lakers. Go sleep. to sleep, you cunt. I'm on it. Good. See ya. Fine. Let me, uh. There we go. That, that'll do. Oh my god, it looks so good! Oh, I'm hungry already again. Jesus, and I can't get anything because every, everything's closed. God damn it. I'll put it in the private chat, and then you can, uh, yeah, you can yeah, delete yeah. it afterwards. I'll delete it afterwards. Really. Yes. Oh, that does look good. Because, like, that is that is that is the pizza we make. Whenever someone says New York-style pizza, like, it usually re refers to pizza that has no sauce, except it's got, like, oil, olives, and, like, all this other shit. I'm just like, no, that's not New York-style pizza. That is... Did you delete it? Yeah, I didn't want to make you more hungry. Eh, all right, that's fine. Too late. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, yeah, that's that, that looks fucking delicious. It's uh, yeah, it's just a basic uh, margarita, isn't it? Yeah, or uh, I think they call it Neapolitan as well, which is I guess. weird. I don't. Yeah. We we don't call it that, but like if you're out of state, you you wind up calling it one or the other. 
All right. Um, gotcha. But yeah, I was just mulling over my head if that was a uh, silly joke, because one of them's like, you know, you know, Arlie's evil, you know, she might uh, even put pineapple on your pizza. It's like... It, it's it's a better it's better done in the actual comic. Don't... Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just wondering if it is lame, but even if it is, I'm just gonna roll with it. I mean, if your character is prone to making lame jokes, then sure, that's totally... that's totally fine. <laughs> Well, considering who's writing the fucking comic, I think there's going to be lame jokes no matter what I do. Someone is going to either someone's going to laugh and someone's going to go, oh, uh. why? I'm gonna go because I can't help it. It's so 2005. Oh, your maymays are lame and stupid and old and dead. No, it's not. Game Gear is still relevant. It's still relevant. <laughs> That's the sad thing about handhelds. Their technology, like for the longest time, was like so whack uh, mm. ahead of the time that like they just don't last. Like the Game Boy screen and Game Gear, both their Oof. screens sucked. Oh my god! Don't remind me of, of the Game Boy screen. Oh my goodness. There's so many people I know who are like, oh, no, no, it's it's fine, you know? I'm like, Dude, no, no. It never no. was. The, it's the always Game, been crap. The Game Boy Pocket was way better with that, but, I mean, even still, that still had some ghosting. Mm-hmm. Not only that, you can barely see anything on this goddamn screen. I remember as the Game Boy as, Pocket being... As soon as it being, gets dark... Mm. I remember the Game Boy Pocket being better with that, but I don't know if it was... You know, in air quotes, good. I mean, not by today's standards, mm. by any means, because, but whatever. Oh, no. Have you ever tried uh, the Neo Geo Pocket Color? Mm. The what now? Neo Geo Pocket Color? No, I had no idea that was a thing. Well, it's the color upgrade to the Neo Geo Pocket, which was black and white. Um, I see. It was Neo Geo's answer to the Game Boy, and then the Game Boy Color. You know, they released it in fairly mm. short order. So it was kind of like, oh, that was an interesting rush. And then, like, then the Game Boy Advance mm -hmm. came out, like, a week later, and they were like, oh, this Ooh. thing's dead. Yep. This thing um, is dead even before it began its life. Oof. That's rough. Yeah, I was just, that I was is just curious some if very you, rough timing. It, it, it's, yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, I was just curious if you saw anything on it, because I have one, and the screen, it's, it's really hard to see in terms of darkness, but there's no ghosting, which is... I don't think there was ghosting. I, I, it's actually, it's been a while since I played. I, I remember the, the ghosting being like really minimal comparatively, so it's just like mm -hmm. it was strange. Hmm. No, I, I never, I don't recall ever seeing or hearing about that one. Uh, there we go. I, I wound up getting one because I, I remember back in the day I saw, um. There was a. Oh, Gotta change my music. Uh, I remember seeing back in the day when I was like really into, like more heavily into Sonic. Um, mm -hmm. There was a Sonic game on there, and I was like, "Oh my god, I want to play that!" But I don't want to buy a whole new system for it. But uh, by the time I bought it, I managed to get one new for twenty bucks. Oh damn! It's got a little micro switched um, D pad in there. Well, micro switch stick. That looks neat. It is pretty damn neat. Yeah, a bit bulky, but still. Well, surprisingly, it lasted on two AA batteries for quite a while. Huh. You know, unlike today's handheld devices. How long did your phone last? Oh, about you know, two or three hours. Wow, that's that's pretty long. Mine is just continuously plugged into the wall charger. <laughs> I don't know what everyone is on about. Uh, like my phone keep, uh, stays active for like two days straight. Do you play games on your phone? Yeah. Oh. I do play the occasional game of uh, Meteor Fall or Hearthstone on it, but other than that, it lasts pretty long. Well, those have to be pretty low in the power consumption department. Mm-hmm. Apparently. Because uh, my friend Clancy is, plays... Which is well optimized in terms of uh, battery. Sorry, go ahead. 
Uh, that's possible. Uh, my friend Clancy plays a lot of phone games, and he's like always got a power brick on him. I mean, yeah, if, if you play a lot, then yeah, it's probably gonna eat through it as really fast. So uh, I usually only go for like ten minute bursts, once or once or twice a day or something like that. Like as soon as I get home, I would just lay down on the couch, play a bit, of, uh, play a bit of meteor fall, and then get on get on with whatever I was doing. Hmm. Fair enough. I mean, that's kind of how I uh, wind up playing Switch games. Like I'll just pop on uh, the RPG that I'm playing, Octopath, and I'll play for uh, ten minutes. Be a couple of battles mm -hmm. and then uh, get back to work because you know sleep mode, it's a thing. Yeah. It's a good. One. Speaking of a uh, switch, I hear mm. um, Dark Souls on it is both impressive and disappointing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's. I I didn't hear too much about it. Apparently, it's the authentic Dark Souls experience. Like if they did not include any of the uh of the advanced graphics that q lock did yeah which, which i heard weird. was um a lot of people were setting that as a positive because they're like they thought it made mm -hmm. the game look a lot worse yes it did like the the lighting on uh on the re-release or on the remake remaster what it re on the remastered version was weird it, was yeah, it didn't come really with the art yeah, yeah, it really, it really did mess with the art style. That's why, I, amongst many other things, that's why I, I didn't get it. Hmm. Um, but uh, apparently, it runs that 720 um, in portable mode and 1080 full 1080 in docked mode, which is fine. At yeah, a real, at a really stable frame rate, as far as I heard. But at the same time, it's still the original Dark Souls with all its uh, genius and its flaws. You know, I don't think it's a problem for the Switch version, because, I mean, it's a portable version, I think. Yeah. That can excuse a lot of... Uh, I mean, for me, that's always been something that excused a lot of portable versions. It's like the original Doom on Game Boy Advance. It's like, it's like oh, it doesn't mm. run perfect. It's like, I, I, it's, it's Doom on the go. I mean, like, what else can I ask for? Yeah, it's it, yeah. If you want to play Doom in a pinch, sure. Yeah, it was but like it's fine. It was uh, it was more well, for me. It was, it was more than fine. I was like, oh, it's like, oh man, I can just hop in, and have a game or two. Cool. Yeah, uh, it really worked out for me. Um, so I'm yeah. probably a little biased in that regard, but um, I I heard they they you know the frame rates all cleaned up. They, it runs mm -hmm. you know in Blight Town without a problem. So you yeah. know. Is it perfect? No, but it's it is the original game. Uh, yeah. As, as much as he you know wanted or not wanted, I don't know. Yep. Um, the only thing I did hear about, uh, about was like the, I know they included the six-player co-op or the six-player limit that Q Lock mm -hmm. implemented. Okay. But other than that, I I really did not hear much about it at all. I still need to watch the Digital Foundry video. Oh, I didn't uh, watch any of that. I just, um, I forgot who I, uh, watched, but they were pretty much, like, yeah, I put, like, a thousand hours in the original Dark Souls on, I forgot which platform, but they're like, yeah, I happily put another, mm -hmm. like, 150 into this one. Well, yeah, sure. Fair enough. Yeah. Sounds about right. I mean, if, if I had a Switch, I would probably also get it. But you alas, might be getting one at some point, since you said that uh, you're interested in Smash Brothers. Yeah. Uh, amongst other things. Also, Mario, Par uh, Mario Kart on the go. The new Mario Party looks cool, even though it, it lacks online functionality. But then again, I don't, I don't have that many friends to play Mario Party online with anyway. So well, it's a, that's it's a bit not too weird. much. To not include that, I mean... Yeah, it is weird. I, mean, I, I know I heard the excuse was, you know, oh, you know, someone you know, will probably bail out in the middle of the game if they start losing. It's like, well, that's why you play with friends. And you call yeah, them stupid names. Yeah, that's why you play with friends or replace dropouts with bots on the, on the fly. That's totally a thing that many other games do. Yeah, but we, we all know that Nintendo is like 
they're great at making games, but like when it comes to making things work online, they're so far behind. Mm hmm. Then again, five bucks say it's gonna be a DLC. It might be a, uh, it might be a patch later. I don't know about doing DLC. Like they've been keeping um, Splatoon going with a uh, mm -hmm. you know new content and yeah. stuff. So I think the only DLC for that game was uh, the Octolings. I don't think it actually added anything else to the game though. Yeah, and it doesn't it it doesn't alter gameplay at all. So yeah. that's that's something. And do please do correct me if I'm wrong, but that's something I, I gotta command Nintendo for because because they uh, the DLC they offer rarely, if ever, interferes with gameplay at all. Uh, as far as I know. Well, let me run this by you, and you can be the judge. Uh, sure. Metroid on 3DS. If you want to play in uh, fusion mode, which is a harder game, you have to have the amiibo. Mm -hmm. And let me uh, right, run. Guess. Let me that run counts. another one by you. Uh, there's um, yeah. also uh, if you use the other Metroid amiibos, you get a mm -hmm. uh, E tank and a um, I believe a missile pack. Oh, so you can't even 100% it if you don't have the amiibos. You is that, can. Is that it? You can, but these are like extra tanks. Like I don't. Mm. I don't know how oh, to explain okay. it. I in believe, addition, like, in addition to the ones that are already in the game. Yeah, I don't believe it counts towards a percentage. It's just like this is an extra tank. It is not part of the game, okay. but it is a fine. it is a health tank, and it does make yeah. hard mode a lot more possible because you do have that extra hit. Because that game is pretty fucking brutal uh, in terms of like. In terms of comparing it to other Metroid games, it's definitely the hardest on its default difficulty. Like, you're just like, holy shit, the other games weren't this hard. Wow. Like, am I saying it's a super hard game? No, but you put it on hard mode, it's gonna fucking kick your ass. I can promise you that much. Mm. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess if, if you count Amiibo stuff, then sure. But I meant more like uh, their DLC doesn't alter gameplay for multiplayer games. Was, oh, from I, should well, have, I should have verified that. Oh, from multiplayer. Well, multiplayer, I mean, they don't really have that many multiplayer games. Uh, I especially, do, especially the ones that are online. I do know that one of their DLCs that really annoyed me was, um, well, I didn't, I don't have the game, but my friend uh, was telling me about it. He got a DLC for this $40 game on uh, 3DS. There was mm. like forty or fifty dollars worth of DLC for Oof. a three DS game. I'm like, like, well, what did it add? Nintendo like, game or third party? Nintendo. Okay. Yeah, it's Fire Emblem. Oh, okay. Never Fire mind. Emblem Echoes. <laughs> yeah, and before that, they arguably did even worse, where they split, um, one game into three. So you had a, mm -hmm. you know, a. You had uh, one version where you went through another, through one part of a story, and another version where you went through another part of the story. It's the same story, it's just you choose differently. This is something that other games have had, or other RPGs have had in it, without charging money for it. That's what pissed me off. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. the true ending... Plus, or whatever. Not even. Um, in Tactics Ogre, they actually ask you, like, you know, will you go with me, or will you go with them? It's like, I'm gonna go with them. Okay. Oh. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much that. Wait. So, so, as soon as you choose someone, it it locks you out of the other of the other option. Until um, you pay? No. What? No. You. There's no. There's no paying. No. It's, it's not like that. Um. You. You. Your. The game you purchase is the choice. Mm -hmm. Oh. Oh. So it's like a uh, a Pokemon Red and uh, Red and Blue situation. Except it's the entire story, and the story is the Oof. same. You're just seeing it from a different perspective. And this is the problem. There's Oof. a third story, and that's the true story. And it's DLC. That is the true ending in there. Like, it's like, oh, mm, well, here's how I the see. dragons are actually doing things, and blah, blah, blah. So... I see. It's okay, a, that's shitty. It, yeah, and it, in that case, I definitely think it was a pretty big dick move. Mm-hmm. 
I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. Don't 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 feel like Capcom and lock endings behind DLC. Mm -hmm. If you're wondering what I'm referring to, it's uh Shura's Wrath. Mm hmm The ending was five dollars. Or Bioware, or I mean EA rather. The ending wasn't locked away, it was just a An improved uh, one. I'm not No, that was no that, that DLC was free. That I, I I will say was free. Um no what they screwed oh, up with was uh, a character and their entire DLC, uh, their, their entire story path, was locked behind DLC, and it was a character from mm. a long lost species that you have heard about through the entire series. Like, oh, the Protheans, the Protheans, the Protheans, the Protheans, and then finally it's like, oh, you'll be able to get the Protean character if you buy the DLC, and you're like, <sighs> oh wow, oh, oh wow, that's uh, that is very EA. Yeah, the, the excuse I heard was really annoying, too. It's like, oh, well, we didn't finish it in time. It's like, so then don't put the game out. Like, I understand that, like, you know, investors mm -hmm. and everything, they cost you money, but, you know, that's what made TB boycott the companies. Like, that's bullshit. I'm like, I don't blame you, but I got the special edition, which comes with it. Mm. Still bullshit. It is bullshit. Absolutely. I will not defend that. Mm. That was a pride and accomplishment. Was that EA? Yes, that was EA with um, Battlefront, Battlefront 2. Right, right. And it was right. so much pride and accomplishment that they patched it out eventually. Speaking of all that shit, uh, Ubisoft's uh, little uh, foray into this stuff, uh, Starlink. Gio was... Uh, mm -hmm. I, wait, was this in the stream I mentioned this? Uh, he was like, oh, you know, I think... Because I said Ubisoft always packs bullshit into the game. He's like, oh, well, Starlink's, you know, mm -hmm. supposed to be pretty good. I'm like... Yeah, except half the game is DLC because Ubisoft couldn't be bothered to, to buy, like, a proper size cartridge. Because I looked it up on the eShop. Mm -hmm. The game is, uh, the game is 16 gigs. That's not big. Mm -hmm. That's how large Zelda is. So, they they couldn't be bothered to try and get that on a, uh, on a launch. Uh, they couldn't even compete with a launch game. God damn it. I hate Ubisoft so much. Mm-hmm. Um... And like a couple of years ago, I would have said that I, I want to love them, but they won't let me. And now I'm just like, yeah, I mean, every single goddamn game of theirs is the fucking same. So I don't even give a shit anymore. I'm, I'm not even salty that I have to die, that I have to yaw horror a lot of their games. So, eh. I don't even bother. I don't have to I don't... Be about shit. Yeah, I, I don't even give their games attention. They just really have completely disappointed me. Yeah. What was, um... The last thing I came. Oh yeah, uh, I also saw on uh, Starlink topic, uh, Spawnway, that guy I mentioned a few times, said that uh, he was mm -hmm. enjoying the game for the most part, but then he said he got to this one thing. He's like, oh, I guess I have to come back here, you know, with an item that I I'll find. He's like, oh no, I have to go to Walmart and buy another toy. No. Yep, it's a little. It's got a little bit of Skylanders in it. Do you need it to beat the game? No, it's a side quest. And people were defending. He's like, oh, it's just a side quest. Like. Yes, and you know what you get in other games that you, you buy that you don't need to pay for? Side quests. Mm-hmm. I hate that. I hate when someone, like, tries to say, like, oh, it's not needed. It's like, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, what, what if you're a completionist and you're fucking screwed? Or, or just even, like, you know, maybe you don't even know, you know, that it's optional. Maybe you're just like, oh, maybe I'll need this later on. Mm-hmm. Also, just stupid luck in that shit behind DLC. Also, if, if you, like, if you somehow wind up getting the game, like, a couple of years down the line, and, and you're like, oh, oh, gee, I, I, I really want to experience this, um, this piece of optional content, and you, you can't anymore because they don't sell the toys anymore. That's well, something else to consider. I mean, I it, it's, it's the same situation with, like, uh, downloadable content, really, because they don't serve it on their service anymore. I still, I think they it is digital, but yeah, eventually, like the store is gonna close. But my response to that is like a lot of people are, are like, oh no, you don't own your games because you know once the servers go down, you can't update them anymore. I'm like, uh, I don't think you understand how dedicated um, third parties are to. I mean, by third parties, I mean fans to their games, mm -hmm. like. It's like, yep. yeah, your game is going to, you know, maybe be up the store, but they're going to have, like, they're going to have all those patches downloaded. Yep. Um, 
like for instance, like there's um that one RPG I really like, Tales of Versaria. It was out mm -hmm. on in Japan. It was out on everything except uh, mm -hmm. wait, was it out? On... Yeah, it was out on everything except for like the Xbox platform. So PC, PS4, and PS3. In America, they didn't bring the PS3 version out. So mm -hmm. fans translated the Japanese version of the PS3 version and brought it over. Damn. And some yeah. people actually prefer that version because it's not censored. Because there's a there's a big story point in the earlier in the game where uh, a character gets killed and they censored it and it kind of took away from it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, don't uh, underestimate fans, dude. I I a lot of people do because like like I said they're like oh you know those all these things are gonna be gone from the servers like yeah but they won't be gone from other people's servers. Mm-hmm. People one day, keep this shit for a long time. Yeah, one day PT is going to be emulated. It's going to be. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm gonna fucking play. I'm shit my pants. I'm not. I'm gonna watch someone else play because I don't wanna. <laughs> I already did actually. I, I watched the um, the Scary Game Squad playthrough of it, and I was fucking terrified while doing so. I, I didn't even play it myself, but holy shit, the audio design in this game is ah. It's the it's worst. So and the best creepy. simultaneously. It's so creepy. Turn around. I said turn yeah. around. Yeah. And I'm like, uh, like, no, 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 don't, 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 no, no, don't no, no, turn. No. 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 <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. That was such a drag. Fucking hell. The the See, um here's here's where Kojima writing shines, because the, here the fucking nonsense makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you just need to be I'm, a I'm very obscure Japanese kind of horror thing where, like, it's like their horror is very weird. Yes, and a lot of it. Like, I, like, I, I had to like look up some of the rules on some of it because, like, I, I forgot what game I was watching, but like, I was like, this sounds like it's too specific to just be linked to this game. I looked it up. I'm like, ah, this is a typical. Uh, phobia or like a um, uh, what would you call it? like an urban urban legend on yeah. how like ghosts work or something. Mm -hmm. Which was pretty fascinating. Also, yeah. Also, something else that I uh, that I looked up uh, some uh, some other time, like ages ago. Uh, Silent Hill has this weird fixation on dra on, on drain pipes and just pipes in general, drains and shit. You know. Really? I looked it up and apparently, yeah, I looked it up and apparently there was there's this Japanese tale of where where someone got sucked into a pipe and died there and it's, and it's haunting those pipes ever since and I kind of yeah I, it makes sense now. Interesting. Well, I already told you uh, Silent that. Hills. Uh, I already told you Silent Hills fixation with Kindergarten Cop. Kindergarten Cop. I think it was that with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah. One Wait, second. How is how is Silent Hill related to Kindergarten Cup? One second. What? I'll look it up for you. And oh boy. it's it's going to be fucking hilarious. No, the images are broken! <laughs> Hold on. Where the hell is it? Uh where am I looking for it? Hold on. No, I don't want the video, thank you. <laughs> oh my god, where the hell is this thing? Uh... What exactly are you looking for? Like, Where's the correlation with this? Oh, it. there's no... It's not like a little correlation. It's fucking there. There you go. Scroll through that. You just need the images. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Fucking told you. Yeah, it's interesting, but then again, is it? This is probably like stuff that that would be everywhere in uh, in American schools at this period, anyway, right? 
no, this is all like very oddly specific, and I believe that they said. I do that, agree. I yeah, believe I that they literally the posters. They literally said, I believe. I, I believe someone at uh, Konami confirmed that they used the um, movie as a reference for American schools because, like, they didn't have the internet really back then. What? Yeah. Uh, that is crazy. <laughs> Wow. Okay, I don't think anyone directly confirmed it looking through this article, but it's so spot on. Like, I don't know a school that looks like that one. Like, we don't have anything like that. Old schools around me are, like, made of brick. So... Huh. I don't know a That's medicine new. cabinet that looked like that, so it's it's strictly limited to uh, that. They, they had to have used it as a reference to figure out uh you know, uh, how to make an American school. That is so weird. Wow, okay. That is well, strange. Schwarzenegger was very popular back then, so, I mean, it must have been yeah, that, some kind of thing. Like, yeah, it's like, hey, look! Sense, yeah. It's like, hey, director, here, look! This is a place to get references from. And it's like, fuck it. Get, the, get that VHS in everyone's, like, fucking office. We're, we're, we're going ham on this. Yeah. That is... <laughs> okay. That's odd. Cool, but odd. Never doubt me again, motherfucker. Alright. Fucking weird. It's so fucking weird. I remember scrolling through that and my jaw was firmly on the floor. I'm like, oh my god, you bastards. <laughs> what a movie to copy! Yeah. Like, of all, of all movies, this one, really? Uh, that's, that's, that's cool. I think it was very popular in Japan for a while. A lot of American actors got, uh, action heroes got popular, like, uh, mm -hmm. Bruce Willis was popular mm. as hell. Yeah. If you want to see some weird-ass commercials, just look up Bruce Willis, and Bruce Willis, Arnold Schwarzenegger, or any popular action movie star, and Japanese commercial, and you're in for a treat. <laughs> I'm not kidding. It's, they have, like, I gas know. commercials and drink commercials, just like, Wow. Just commercials up the wazoo. I guess what I meant to say was, I'm not exaggerating, because I remember seeing this and just being like, Japan, you fucking weird. <laughs> uh, I mean, I already told you this a couple times, but I'm, I'm not repeating that on stream. <laughs> I can't imagine what you're talking about, Lou. Yeah. Glorious Japan and your weirdness. Glorious Nippon. I wouldn't have it any other way. Well, mm -hmm. could do it without the lollies, actually. Oof, yeah. That's a, that is a, a very strange fixation, to say the least, and a quite disturbing one at that. But she's actually 3,000 years old! No. Fuck you. No, she's not. Like, there's a character in a RPG that I like that, um is like a spirit and she looks like a kid but like uh i don't feel like that's they very... yeah that's very thinly veiled it it wasn't just this character that's the thing that separated it from me it wasn't just like oh this mm. one specific character it's like no no there's spirits that are all like this they are they're born of all different sizes and ages and have different abilities and whatever i'm like okay fair mm. enough and i'm but i'm not saying they're not i'm not saying they're fantasizing over this character i actually just thought she was fucking hilarious because she was very deadpan mm -hmm. like when the characters were having fun she's just like yeah you're idiots or just yeah. we'll take advantage of the gullible one and just say like oh yeah things are totally like this like oh my god really yeah then they wind up burning their tongue or something <laughs> i genuinely Let's think she was a, 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 she was like a highlight of the game because uh the <laughs> the other two characters that you had for like no the other three characters you had for the majority of the game were goody two shoes, and they were all just like, "Yeah, we gotta save the world. Yeah, we gotta save the world. Yeah, we gotta save the world." And then you get this little sarcastic brat. I'm like, "Oh, thank God, finally!" <laughs> finally, finally so someone interesting. Yeah, I actually wound up dropping the RPG. Um, I want to go back to it because I did get another character who wasn't a goody two shoes. She's an assassin. I'm like, "Cool, that'll be a cool contrast." And she's like spooked out by all these spirits that she's seeing now. But I just wound up. 
suffering through so much of the game, I'm just kind of like, okay, I need a small break from this. It's been a year. Yeah. No, two. Right. It's been two years. <laughs> or five. <sighs> All right. Whoops. I'm gonna guess you're done, done. Third. No, no. Third page, almost done. Inking uh, should be able to color it tomorrow and start inking the, the last page. But I'm done in terms of I'm tired and not getting much done anyway anymore. So I guess I'm gonna call it a night for today. Right. Maybe sneak him, sneak in a quick game or something. I don't know. If you want to hunt, I'll hunt with you. But I'm going to cut out the stream for now. Thanks for watching, everyone. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs>